Hey there, YouTube and CJ Holmes here. Alrighty then. Well, here's the next step in the Titanic wreck model build. Uh, last time, if you recall, we built up this portion of decking. And we're going to go uh, above that and aft a bit in this section. So what I'm going to be doing is adding a couple of walls that are both bent down toward the poop deck and also bent sideways to account for the twist of the stern section. <coughs> I've already made one of these things, basically uh, taking a piece of uh, plastic. Uh, there's one that's about the same size. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut it. I need to uh, measure and find a pencil that I had a little while ago that I now have. Find my place where I want to mark this. Okay, and I'm just going to chop off a little V section from the wall. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. I hope you guys are uh, having a great week and uh, prepared for uh, for the holidays. I think I am. All right. So we're going to bend it like this. So what I want to do, I'm going to take me a little, just a scrap of plastic. Doesn't matter what it uh, looks like. It's going to be on the inner aspect. It's going to be inboard. So, um, piece of plastic is on this side of this wall, and it's going to be on this side of this wall. So, let's glue it together. Try to maintain the same bend that the other section has. If it's not exact, I'm not real concerned about that. Because the ship is a twisted mess, as it is. So, um, anyway, this is just my interpretation of it. Actually, that's a, bent a little too much, I think. Just want them to try to match up. And they do. Okay, we'll hold that for a bit. We'll bend this part to starboard. So now we have two pieces of wall section that can be glued to the decking. So let's go ahead and do that. Put it about there. Awesome. I was meaning to purchase some accelerant for the uh, super glue, and I never got around to doing it. So I'm dealing with it as is. But so far, so good. I'm doing all right. Okay, is that going to let's get the engines shoved up there? Oh, I know what I want to do. Uh, do I need to? I think I might need to just cut out a bit of uh, plastic here, I think. I'm not sure. To uh, make room for that bulkhead. Well, actually, I think I'm okay. Alright, so I can't see if I'm uh, doing it in exactly the right place, so we're going to do this. 
cool. So that's going to go there. Let's glue it. I'm just eyeballing uh, the distance here and here, but that looks generally okay. that for a little bit. And then I'm going to be working on D-Deck. D-Deck is exposed. Uh, let me find a pointer. Okay, on the uh, Titanic stern that I have here. Put me back in place. <clears throat> All right, so there's the poop deck, which on this is folded back on itself. All right, here's C deck, or the aft well deck. And there's B deck, A deck, and boat deck. Uh, an interesting thing, okay, um, when the ship sank, sea deck was, for the most part, peeled away, and um, we're going to model that aft section of sea deck collapsed on D deck. So, on the wreck, most of the exposed area in the well deck area here is exposed D deck. Uh, which is what we're, <coughs> what we're going to put what we're going to put on next. Cool. So uh, we have that assembled. Let me get this out of the way because I'm going to need to move this around. To I have a piece of plastic that I've marked D deck, but I think you can see here. Um, all right, you've got considerable twist, and here's the center line going all the way forward. And uh, the fantail is really kicked over badly. So the deck has to follow that. So that's my goal, to try to make decking that is going to rest on the uh, walls and then kick over. So, how am I going to do that? Here's where I want to put my bend. And I might just go ahead and cut that because it's not going to show. However, do I want to cut that? Or, let me just find another piece of plastic here. Or do I want to, do I have enough room on this piece of vinyl to uh, go here and then kick over? to here, all right, now I got to get the width accounted for also. You know what, that might actually work. I'm just eyeballing here. What I'm doing is uh, is this. Okay, lifting that and just eyeballing these uh, 
this bulkhead here. Just trying to mark it there. All right. So let me see what what I get. I'm going to um oh, I'm going to go here. So that's just going to taper in, I think. If if I fail, I'll cut another piece. All right, let's see what that does. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut it with some scissors. Far too long, which is cool. I'll make it a bit wide. So I'm definitely going to cut off some of this here. And that's not going to be showing. Now, <clears throat> So that looks about the right thickness or width here, but it's too wide there. So let's trim. Still too wide. I'm going to trim a little bit off here. And a little more off this. Awesome. All right, so that looks like it's close to what I want to do. Although, let's say this. Um, this needs to be more. that way. Let's see if I can do that. That's looking pretty good. I think. Now, is this going all the way down? I don't know what I need. What I'm looking for is to see if it's hitting out of the hole before it's, yeah, it's a little too wide. So let's, let's cut a little more off. bit wide still. Do the same on this side.
I like it a lot. This is a little... I like it a lot, but I'm not absolutely in love with it yet. A little bit too much hump there. Alrighty then. So I want to. It's got a natural curve to it, being a uh, patio blind. So I'm just gonna kind of straighten it out. Now, before I glue it in place, I need to work out the cargo hatches and the third class stairwell. Uh, where's the, uh, all right. Okay, so here we are with, <clears throat> with the, uh, the stern section. All right. So what we need to add to the ship is, um, this hatch and this hatch. All right, so these openings need to be put in here and also... What you never see in the model, because it's all hidden, um, if you were to peel this back <coughs> and it continued, and, and C deck continued back here, you would have third class, uh, third class general room, the third class smoke room on this side, and a stairwell that would be right about here. That's exposed in the wreck, and I'll show you on uh, Mr. Mengo's masterpiece. That's what I'm uh, basing my work on. So I have uh, I have my uh, hull sections here, and there's the stairwell, and uh, he has it as cargo hatch number six, and then mostly uh, buried with debris is cargo hatch number five. Okay. So that's what I need to, to, to mark out on this. All right, so I have the whole sections basically even with each other. So I'm looking to go like this across here. All right. Okay. So even with that section... Gonna, I'm going to drop my pencil. And, okay, so, so here's what I've got. All right, cargo hatch number uh, six is going to go about right there. All right, and uh, forward of that, can you see this? I don't know. Mark out with my with my little marker here. Forward of that, we'll put uh, cargo hatch number five. So. about centered so if I were to lay this over this it looks pretty good now about evenly spaced in the back is <clears throat> third class stairwell. I don't know if it's third class, but it's in the third class section, so I assume it's the third class stairwell. A little more on that side, like that. All right.
Cool. Now, um, there is also um, a section of D deck that is collapsed. I'm looking at this here. Section of D deck that's collapsed with um, a piece of hull section or something that just has sliced it. So stand by one. I'm going to try to find another reference to that. Awesome. So here we go. It's a very good picture of uh, what I'm talking about. This is D-deck. This is a, <coughs> a slice of hull section or something that's uh, interspersed in this wreckage. And then D-deck, forward of that, is collapsed down. There's a... Uh, bulkhead there that we'll be uh, working with but yeah this is uh, this is what I want to do and it appears to be about even with aft of this cargo hatch okay so we're going to slice that we uh, put this in the model. That's going to be sliced <coughs> down. This is visible. This is showing. Forward of this is going to be collapsed. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. on that for reference looks like I got it just about exactly right awesome let's open up this hatch oh I love working with this vinyl Oh, it's, it's so hobbyist-friendly. And the stairwell. There we go. These are going to fit down in here. I need to slice... This part of D deck, <laughs> and that's going to be bent down. Oh, cracked it! Hey, what a shame! Oh, I like that. Quote Bob Ross: "There are no mistakes; they're just happy accidents." I can really live with that. Alrighty then. I'm going to glue this in place. Take a look at it here. This can be straightened a bit. going to work. Methinks that's going to work. And if 
not, we'll rip it apart and uh, do it again. Cool. Let's throw this inside the ship. Move our uh, portable generator in place. Great. It's holding together pretty well. And that portion of D deck is looking awesome. So that's where we are now. Seven minutes. I'm liking that pretty much. I may want to do some more trimming, but I'm uh, not real concerned about that right now. Trimming of the the uh, deck to fit the hole over here, but it looks like it's uh, falling into place pretty nicely. Okay. Now that one from this side. I'm real happy with that. <clears throat> so, can we do anything else before we shut it down for the night? Maybe. this here. along here Let's see what happens now
good. Let's straighten it out. So it doesn't follow its natural curve. Uh, will it fit? I don't know. I'll, um, I'm going to glue it and, uh, and make it fit. So this would be E-deck. I don't know how far down <coughs> the uh, cargo hatches go. If they go through E-deck e and uh, below, I'll do some research. So I can always cut that out, uh, those hatches out later. But right now my only concern is getting uh, E-deck glued to D-deck. I'm gluing D's decks. Does it fit? Kind of. Oh, I'm going to trim it. Rather drastically here. Mm hmm. Looking good to me. This can collapse even more. Collapsing D deck here. I can always take my uh, my uh, heat gun, but for the time being, that's looking good. I do need to trim a little bit of E deck here. Cool. Shall we add another deck? What the heck? <coughs> Let's add another deck. So I'm going to cut you there. Go up and away a bit. That's far enough to go back there. Okay, okay we'll add this. Another strip of decking, or no, of walls. Uh, so another strip of wall. How does it fit? Or 
is it? Looks pretty good. I'm going to just put a little bit of curve to it. Good. This will be, um, what am I adding now? F deck. catching let me see <clears throat> yeah, I think um, I've got a little bit too much uh, here so I'm going to cut off portion see if I can get that broken off. Yeah. Now let's see if that fits in any better. Not really. Yep, see how that's collapsing it there. So what we're gonna do is bring it inboard going to show anyway. Let's bring it in like that. I might need to uh, trim some of this here, but we'll see. It didn't glue at all. Yeah, it's getting very narrow down in this area, so. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and See if I can cut off this section as well. Boy, that's thick plastic. Right. But having done that now, got decking that fits in there. Cool. I may actually Bend this down more to get it lower, but I've got to look at uh, photographs and paintings and stuff to uh, to verify if I need to do what I want to do. So anyway, I'm uh, not going to add any more decks today. I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> but suffice it to say, I think I got a lot done, and uh, happy with the progress. Alrighty then, uh, thanks for watching, and um, all I can say now is have a nice day.